Hello, everybody. Well, I'm approaching a, uh, a very famous shrine. This is the, uh, the shrine at the Hagoromo, Hagoromo no Matsu, the, uh, I'm not saying it quite right. <laughs> Let me hold it steady for a second. This is, there's a story here. Okay. Story is that along the the Miho Peninsula, near Shimizu, Japan, the Pacific Ocean is out that way, and then over this way is Izu Peninsula across the water there, man, the sunrise there. Uh, Mount Fuji is right over there, you can't quite see it. You can maybe see the edge of Mount Fuji right over there. I've got my camera set up over here, it's filming uh, a time lapse for, Mount, for the Mount Fuji Videos channel right now. And I thought I'd walk over while it's doing the time lapse and photograph this uh, shrine. Um, this, long ago, well this is a very famous spot, and this this is a peninsula that kind of sticks out into Suruga Bay, and there's water on the other side, Shimizu Harbor over there, and there's a story in the fishing, there's a long fishing tradition here, you can see a fishing boat right over there, and a long fishing tradition here, and the story goes that uh, long ago a goddess came down and she wanted to go bathe in the, in the, in the waters here, which no one is allowed to do anymore, <laughs> it's too dangerous they say. Anyway, she came down here and uh, took off her clothes, took off her cloak, and hung it on a pine tree, this big pine tree right here. And while she was in there bathing in the water, a fisherman came by and uh, took, the, took the cloak, and when she came out, he wouldn't give it back unless she would dance the celestial dance for him. And so uh, she obliged, and he gave her the cloak back, and there goes the story. And I think there's more to it than that, that's the best I can remember. And anyway, they, they commemorate this uh, spot with this pine tree. This is apparently the very pine where the goddess hung her cloak. And there's a small shrine here. Uh, ooh, nice light with the sunrise coming there. Wow, this is great. Anyway, there's a shrine here, and uh, well, that for that very spot. And people come up here and they uh, leave messages on stones. See how they do it here? They write their messages on the stones, and they stack the stones up. There's several gates: a wooden gate here, a stone gate there. They stack the stones up here along the shrine, all over the place. Let's go take a look, see, shall we? Passing through the Shimenawa here, under the Toidi Gate. That's where you do your offerings, and here's the actual shrine itself. See all the little stones here? It's all stacked up with messages, I guess prayers and the like. Well, that one's nice there. Look at that. With the, uh, the message written across the. Uh, quartz vein there. Very nice. Emily would get mad at me if she saw me doing this. She doesn't think I should film people's messages. Yeah, I think she's probably right, so I'll make it brief. Someone's left a little uh, prayer bead offering here. More stones here. The Japanese are very interested in round stones as uh, offerings. Pass back through the Tori. Pine cone here. Pine from, the, from one of the sacred trees. Let's go ahead and walk around. This gentleman here was filming the dawn, as I was. Here's where Emily gets mad. She says I shouldn't film people's... Uh, um, uh, um, these are Emma prayer plaques. But I can't resist. Well, it's got in English. One chance, one get. And, uh, yeah, I got wall. <laughs> Happy wedding. You know, I won't even try to do the Japanese. This looks like it's in a foreign language there. Look at that. Is that French, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, you can see on the Emma here, it shows the uh, the goddess and the uh, man, the goddess receiving her cloak, although she's wearing a cl she's wearing something, so I guess she wasn't naked. <laughs> Over here, this looks like, looks like very stylized. Uh, I don't know what language that is. A lot of foreign stuff here. Someone lost something and left it here on the beach hanging there. Isn't that nice? Well, isn't this cool? One nice thing about Japan is I can leave my camera, my camera and tripod. <laughs> Look at there on the beach. There's people walking on the beach. No one will touch it. There's uh, more prayer uh, ropes or prayer uh, uh, papers. They, they receive these and then tie them up. Look at these. These... these Trees are all leaned over, isn't that cool? Uh, brings back memories when Emily, my daughter, was a little girl. I'd take her here and I would, not this one, that one way over there. She would walk up there and I'd hold her hand and she'd walk up that pine and then she'd get to the top and jump off into my arms up there too. She and I used to come here when she was little. Oh my god, jeez. 
my little girl's growing up so fast, and she and I would go and have, we'd have Papa Emmy Day, and we'd come up here, and then we, these are Oden de- vendors, they sell Oden, and she and I would have Oden up there together, and play in the pine trees, and go walk and play in the sand. <sighs> Emmy's growing up so fast now, she doesn't want Daddy so much anymore, she's got her friends. That's to be expected. That's just life, right? Oh, here's the tree. Enough about me. <laughs> this is the, the pine itself. Wow. This is kind of neat with the uh, the sunrise back there. Isn't that nice? Wow. Oh, memories. There's another famous tree. It's got a fence around it. These uh, Oden dealers, if you ever come to this part of Japan in Miho... These Oden dealers are really good. I, I recommend the one on the far right over here. There's like there's three of them. They're all good. You know, you'll be happier without any of them. But the one on the far right, they're I'm just just by habit, that's the one I've always gone to. I haven't been there for quite a while. So, yeah. Well I hope the trees doesn't look so good, does it? Ooh, it doesn't look good at all. Look at that. It's like it's not it looks dare I say it looks dead. Wouldn't that be a shame? Well, I guess all, all historic and famous things must come to an end in some capacity. But it certainly doesn't look alive anymore. Yeah. How about that branch over there? No, that doesn't look alive. These things coming off the side are different. Oh, well. <laughs> so there we go. A shrine. A shrine. The famous uh, little tiny shrine at the uh, famous uh, big old t- pine. <laughs> hey, kind of a rhyme. Hey, it continues on. All things in time. In Miho, Japan. And I'll continue to walk back and find my camera somewhere out there on the beach. <laughs> somewhere beyond the uh, boat. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for uh, joining me and watching the, uh, taking a look at this famous uh, shrine in pine. Have a great day. The dawn does rise again.